All right, welcome back to Swiss Cheese Trails. We are on our way to Zurich area. We are leaving kind of this section of the valley. But what I really turned on for to show you is we are walking through a gun range, literally walking through a gun range. If you spin around, you'll see the targets. Uh, this happens more than you think it might. Uh, and so you have to be aware of it's not open today. A lot of times Sundays are open, uh, depends on the range. You can see we're walking in the range, like not good. Nicht gut. This looks pretty nice over here. Need to take the range out. I guess if the range were open, you'd walk along the road. Very interesting. They're shooting toward a power plant. <laughs> Seems like a long distance. I'm not a gun expert, but I don't think you could be shooting a 22 rifle this far. All right, see you in a bit. Welcome back. I'm uh, actually just past the halfway point. All the video I've taken to this point, still only halfway there. Beautiful hawk up there. I turned on now because I'm decided to eat my lunch. Today I got at the local Bäckerei, the Steiner. It is a old favorite. Uh, pretzel brun, egg salad, pickle, and tomato. They used to do this sandwich unbeatable. Egg salad with a little bit of bacon on a pretzel croissant. Holy cow, that was a good sandwich. I don't know why they changed, but uh, this is as good as we got now. It's still pretty darn good. So the last couple of segments I've been eating uh, foods that were very appropriate for the area this time i kind of just sort of grabbed something at the local bakery it all works and this really smells and feels like a country walk right now because it is despite the highway down there and this road usage it still feels very good and you know, it's chilly, which is good because the sun is shining hard. I'm definitely getting some sunburn even though I got suntan lotion on. So I just wanted to tune in, check in. Oh, well, this is cool. All right, uh, up in here, you can see the boulders still laying in the field here. I like that look. I like that look a lot. As we go deeper in country, we're going to see some national defense aspects. These rocks just kind of remind me of, of the reality that this country has survived a bunch of world wars because of the mountains uh, more than anything. Uh, the Swiss, it's kind of funny, you know, the Swiss is the number one per capita military in the world. So on a on a citizen by citizen basis, this is the most militarized country in the world. Hard to believe. We think of them as neutral Switzerland, but reality is the Swiss are not neutral 
necessarily because they don't like war. It's a war is somebody else's problem. And somewhat similar to the United States before they got into the First World War and also before getting into the Second World War. Remember, we were pretty late to both of those games. Uh, you know, the Swiss can profit a little bit. And the Swiss Guard, which still guards the Pope, is the last remnant of kind of the Middle Ages Swiss Guard for rent. And uh, there's not a lot of monuments in this country. A lot of cowbells, though. In Lucerne, we'll come across a monument to um, a fairly large loss of Swiss Guard from guarding Marie Antoinette. And that one did not turn out so well. And uh, that's when the Swiss kind of said, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this. But they still ceremonially, and I'm sure very seriously, uh, guard the Pope. I'm sure there's a lot of people guarding the Pope. And that's kind of the last bastion of the uh, Swiss, Swiss guard. But everyone in this country, like a lot of countries, are conscribed for their period of time. And uh, everyone in the country after that conscription is required to go back for shooting practice. One of the reasons we pass through and talk about shooting ranges. Uh, machine guns and your military weapon are supposed to be kept. All the basements of all the buildings are bomb shelters. That's by code. And all the citizens, at least when I first arrived, I haven't heard about it in the last year and a half, but all the citizens are, citizens are given, um, I forget what kind of pills, but it's the uh, iodine pills to help against nuclear radiation. <laughs> These little things. What got me on this topic with their boulders in the field, something like one in five of the little buildings that you see on the side of a mountain have a military purpose. The largest hospital is a cave. There's a lot of hidden stuff here. And uh, I've come across, as many people do, a lot of the Second World War anti-tank embankments and a few other things. So every now and then it's kind of interesting to just sort of run across in this idyllic world some military equipment or a military need. And we'll end the story with some more boulders in the field. If you spin around. Thank you for staying tuned today. That was a long lunch discussion. I didn't mean to really get into that. I was going to at some point though.